Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Moon Garden. And this is a new fantasy horror film that focuses on a young, comatose five-year-old girl who winds up journeying through an industrial wonderland to find her way back to consciousness. And this is from writer-director Ryan Stevens Harris, starring Haven Lee Harris only guess they're related. Um, and this particular film is a feast for your eyes. It goes hard from the very beginning displaying domestic violence and, a be and just straight trauma leading to this young girl getting in an unfortunate accident. And from that point on as the film progresses we see flashes of her life and the un fortunate experiences that she's had to go through. But the key to this film is the fantastical world that she gets lost in. This film has a very specific feel to it. Wolfgang Meyer, who is a cinematographer, creates this unnerving kind of dreamlike world that we get lost in. And this young girl, who I think does a really fine job as an actor, selling this role and selling the world around her. The visuals are, at points, breathtakingly beautiful, and at others, downright grotesque and unnerving. It's such an interesting mix of practical effects and visual art. And this journey is very metaphorical. There's a lot of layers and themes that are trying to seep through in this world that the film has created, and Stevens Harris delivers such a compelling world for us to sink our teeth into. It might not always feel like it is focused or has a very particular through line, but this wandering world of fantasy is powerful. It's poignant. And we see the moments of her mother and father trying to process her state in this coma on the outside as this young girl deals with some of the most strange and inventive looking creatures you're going to find. One of them was very Babadook-esque and I'm like, nope, <laughs> we're done here. Um, but there's so many interesting things to experience and see in this film you could get past the fact that it doesn't feel very cohesive in many ways. It's going for a fantastical journey and quite a poignant experience, and it hits those things well. And this film is quite the unique experience that I would love to experience again. It's not the best cohesive whole film that I've seen this year, but it definitely is one of the most unique and inventive, and that can go a long way. But those are my thoughts on Moon Garden. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.